So, you've just got yourself a brand new district fork. Maybe it's one of the S series ones, maybe it's one of the HT series ones like this. It doesn't matter if you've got a fork with mini HIC compression as standard, but you don't want to ride that, you want to ride SCS or oversized HIC, then today I'm going to describe to you exactly what you need and what you need to do in order to convert it. And there's going to be no bodging, no cutting down anything. I'm only going to be using parts available from District today and show you how simple it actually is to run this fork with three different uh, compression systems. But first, let's go through all the parts you're going to be needing to do the SCS. We're going to tackle that one first. So of course, you've got the fork itself, you've got the shim for mini HIC, you've got a little cap and you've got a six millimeter bolt. Second of all, you're gonna have a headset. And if you've gone for a district one, you're gonna have the following in the box. You're gonna have crown race. This is universal, this works on every fork ever. The longer the fork doesn't already have one of these integrated into it. But then again, most modern forks do. Next, you're gonna have two bearings. These are, again are universal. These will work with every integrated deck and every compression system in the world. Then you're going to have not one, you're going to have two pinch rings. These are the things that sit in the top bearing and they keep everything nice and snug. You're going to have two sizes, the smaller one for district fork and the bigger one for any other standard sized fork. And similarly, you're going to have two top caps, not one. This one is a smaller one, this is for the undersized district fork and this one is bigger and is for every other fork. Next, you're going to have the SCS. Now, in the SCS box, again, you're going to have a nice selection of parts. You're going to have, of course, the SCS itself. You're also going to have the shim for the top of the SCS. This is pretty standard. This goes in the top, so you can ride steel bars with it or aluminium bars without it. You're also going to get an extra small second shim. This one goes in the bottom, and this means you can ride undersized fork with an SCS. You're also going to have the choice of a 6mm and 5mm bolt to put through your cap and tighten into the thread of the fork or the star nut. Thirdly, we're going to have a deck to put it all onto. And we're going to also have what is known as a volcano spacer and what is known as an SCS sleeve. These two are going to come in handy shortly. So. To install the fork, take all this stuff off it, one of the headset bearings, slide it into your deck as normal. Secondly, you're going to have another one, put it in, and then you're going to have the choice of pinch ring. Now because this is the smaller fork, you're going to need the smaller inner diameter pinch ring, which is the black one. This slides over like every other pinch ring in the world. And now suddenly everything's much tighter together. You're also going to be faced with a choice of top cap and we're again going to choose the small one because this is the smaller outer diameter fork. So that slides on top. So everything up to now is exactly the same as installing this fork with mini HIC. And next up you would put on this shim and with mini HIC you would put it on this way with the open part at the bottom, but with the SES, we're going to turn it up this way. We just are. Do it. Also worth noting that they were previously made like this. This has a little bit of a lip on the bottom. With this, if you have one of these and you want to run SES, you either have to cut this off. I know I said no cutting, so the other option is to get in contact with District, we'll send you a new one. It'll work perfectly. No bodging necessary. So, taking your shim, you're going to put it upside down, so now you've got the open part at the top, slide it over the fork, like that. Then you're going to take what is known as a volcano spacer, and it's designed to slip nicely over your headset top cap. So, we're going to put that over the shim and onto the top cap, and it fits nice and flush. Next up, with your SES, we're going to take out the bottom shim. You don't need that because you have this shim on the fork already. So, we're going to take the SES, slide it over. Easy. 
Next, you're going to take the cap from the SCS, not the one from the fork, take the one from the SCS, it's a bit bigger, fits a bit better. Now, normally SCS is going like this. If you're going to run it this way, turn it upside down. It makes a difference, I promise. Take the bolt, the 6mm one, because the inside of this fork is 6mm, and we're going to put it in like this. Make sure it is nice and tight. Also make sure everything's in line. Headset's nice and smooth. Part one is sorted. Now, when it comes to the bars, the usual course of action is just to cut this slit off. Most bars do come with a slit and everyone normally just chops them off. But we said no bodging, no cutting necessary. We're going to take what is known as an SCS sleeve by a district and this slides straight into the bars and has the same effect as cutting the slit off wood. Stops this bit compressing, suddenly SCS is going to work. So with that done, you're going to put these in the SCS, tighten them up. and. We are sorted. SCS with mini HIC fork and bars with a slit in, no cutting, no bodging necessary, everything working with current district parts. The reason you might want to put the SCS sleeve inside the bars is either to A, remove the need of cutting the bars, or B, you might just want to ride really high bars with an SCS. Also, it's worth noting the Volcano space has come in a few different colours. They have gold, blue, and red as well as the black so you can customize your scooter and make these a part of your color scheme now as simple as that was this one for the hic conversion is even simpler for this we're going to go back to the same stage as before headsets installed top caps installed so you can take the fork the shim this can be up either way around doesn't matter this time so take your pick put it on the fork now you're going to grab what is called the hic shim from district and this comes as a big shim, bolt, cap, and also comes with a star nut and 5mm in case you're trying to do this on a fork that isn't already threaded. We don't need that as is. Take this shim, put it over the existing shim, take the big cap, put it on top, tighten it up, and as soon as that's fully tight, everything is nicely together. You don't need some bars and you need to pick some ones that are oversized HIC bars such as these, these are the S-series ones but they can be any bars that have a larger inner diameter to fit over the larger shim. You're going to grab a clamp, you know, put it over your fork, tighten everything up and then good to go. It's that easy. And um, yeah, there you have it. That's how you ride District's new mini HIC forks with either SCS compression or with HIC without any bodges, any sketchy mods or anything like that, using only freely available parts from District and from your local retailer. If your local retailer doesn't have them in stock, then make sure you hit them up to hit us up and we can make sure everyone has these parts at their disposal. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you realized how simple it really is and now you can ride this with anything you want. So yeah, cheers for watching. Peace.